Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy, aka Stratix, and this is RPG Maker MV. This is the RPG Maker game making software that a lot of you know about, and I'm going to make a game with it. Before we get started, I wanted to get wanted to go over some of the more boring stuff. Firstly, this is the latest incarnation of RPG Maker. This is RPG Maker MV. It came out October 23rd, 2015. This has a lot of new features. I'm only going to give you a few here. Firstly, you can use this on Windows and Mac and OS. It does tell you that Mac has the Japanese language version only, at least right now. Uh, one of the neat things, though, is now you can make games for use on multiple platforms, including like multiple devi mobile devices. So you'll be able to make stuff for Windows and Mac OS X and Android, and even which is I found kind of cool is HTML5. So you, for play completely in a web browser, like I I don't I guess I, I guess it would have to be online. You'd be on a web browser. You'd probably have to access someone's server and their web page. I don't know if that met, means you d actually download the game and it just plays when you open up your web browser of choice. But uh, there's a lot of flexibility and customizability basically added in since RPG Maker VX Ace, which was the last one. I I am not an expert, but I you know I've dove into the RPG making community a little bit and learned a little bit. So I, I'm going to have very sporadic little bits of fragmented knowledge, some basic, some advanced, but then there's going to be a lot of basic knowledge I don't have. So just because I say uh, that I sound like I have a lot of basic information, don't assume that you can go ahead and skip all the basic information you know and assume that, oh, well, I'm advanced enough to understand the advanced stuff because it it's like a Swiss cheese brain. But I am learning, and we're going to learn together, hopefully, which would be kind of cool. So about this project, this series, this will be for Zero Friction, which is a retro indie gaming website that I have, and primarily run by me and Jessica all the way, the gaming goddess. She, go, she has many monikers. Um, so these videos will probably accompany some articles that I'll have up on the site too, on Zero Friction, and I'll be posting and sharing them like on Twitter, and my Twitter, which is Stratix Gaming, and my YouTube is Stratix Gaming. And I'll even put them on my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash stratix. So what I want to do is make something very tiny. and we're, But the idea is we're going to make it from beginning to end. We're going to have completion, hopefully, <laughs> in this. So we're going to have a tiny little map, maybe a town, maybe a little dungeon, a couple enemies... One NPC, well, a couple NPCs, the main ca one main character. We're not going to make a party, and so we might have a fight included, maybe a couple little things scattered around, an item shop maybe to, to figure out how to buy and sell stuff. And that's about it, But which maybe to a lot of you sounds very simplistic, but it'll probably take a long time. So now we're about at the, the portion where we can get started. So let's do that. Let's get started. I had this created to um, get started, to give you something to look at while I kept talking through this boring intro period. So I called it Zero Friction RPG. What you can do, though, is to make a new project, you just go up and file New Project. Choose where you want it saved. It might tell me I can't do this if I name it the exact same thing. This project already exists. Yes, it's telling us we can't do that. So that's what you would do. And as soon as you hit OK, this pops up. What you see. This pops up exactly. I know I didn't go through the motions, but let's go ahead and close this and see if we can't replicate this. 
No, here, light it up. No, we can't. And so we'll call it part one. How's that? And then hit OK. And it will go through all these motions doing things and stuff. So we'll let it do its things and stuff. And then as you'll see, it'll pop that up. Bam. See, we're back to where I just said. Just to make sure we actually went went through I went through the motions to show you. So now we're here. What we're going to be doing is trying to be somewhat organized. It it'll really pay to be organized even on this small project. So we want the map of our town. We're not going to fiddle with an overworld or anything like that. Maybe in later videos it, there'll be other things. But the other part of this project as well that I keep forgetting to mention during the intro is we'll be using only the basics. Just the stock assets that come with RPG Maker MV. All the basics. Just basic, basic, basic. So no scripts, no, you know, marginal renaming and things like that. But now we have this window in the bottom left-hand corner, which is basically a hierarchy of files. It's sort of a file structure. You can see it has a little bit, it does nesting. So we have map 001, and we're going to, we're going to take this and, and edit it. So we're going to right click and hit, I believe, edit. And we get this screen. Now we want to change the tile set here. Well, first let's just change the name. Let's go ahead and name it. Let's call it ZF Town. And then right below that is tile sets, and we can choose overworld, inside dungeon, blah, blah, blah. We're going to choose outside. And then that's all we're going to do. So hopefully you learn at a nice slow pace, <laughs> because that's what this is. This is game development, basically, but at its very basic core. You can see the tile set changed, because that's, those are tile sets for... Uh, outside, not an overworld. And actually, I might have done that wrong. Let's. We want to right-click and load. That's right. We want to load. We might want to. We might have wanted to do both. See what I mean about not understanding you in some basics, even though I've been reading and watching lots of YouTube videos. So we're gonna load a map. Here's something. Here's a normal town. There's a ton of stuff here, right? Oh, look at that. There's like. Smaller, smaller stuff here. A market. What's mining city? Ooh, that's a little noisy. Floating temple. That's kind of cool. But let's just go for normal town and hit OK. Now we're getting some cool looking stuff going on here. On the right and at the bottom we have uh, scroll bars just like in a web browser so we can see everything. I believe we can even at the top yeah, shrink and enlarge, change so we can see the whole thing. Or maybe let's shrink it a bit. To see the entire thing, we would need to shrink it that far. So let's fit it right on the screen. All right, so we have our town. And we have these towns with houses. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these houses so our character that we eventually make can go in and out of these houses. Right now, this is just a picture. There's nothing here. There's no real space. This is sort of just like a static image. So we're going to uh, create these interiors. Really, what, you, what you're doing is you're creating separate pictures, which are interiors of the houses, and then you're tying those pictures together using placeholders or events, I think, RPG Maker uses the term events. So we'll do things like, because these are the doorways, we'll do things like put a door there, but then we'll create an event and on that spot. And then we'll tell it, this is an event that means when the player touches it, it means to load 
the interior picture, the picture of the interior of the house, and then have the character appear in it. And then they'll suddenly be in the house as if they walked into a house. And then we'll do the same for reverse, for them to leave the house. So that's how you could do magic stuff. You could, I, I could do an event on this doorway or a doorway on a closet in a living room of a house and magically have them go to a snowy land, right? Like Narnia. Or not, or because of copyright, it would be, it would be called Stratonia. <laughs> but anyways, so we have a normal town. So we have all these houses. We might not use them all. Like I said, you want a game plan when you're going in. I'm I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. So I, I think I do want a shop. I don't know. I want a shop and another house to go in. Maybe, you know, maybe we'll make a couple houses. So we'll make, let's, you know, let's make this one up here a shop. So I believe what we want to do is right click on our normal town right here that's underneath that's in, that's nested in ZF which I'm not sure is correct. I think that's correct. Oh, actually I think what we're going to do is click on ZF because then what we're, we're adding to our list will be nested at the same level as normal town here just for the sake of organization, mind you. So let's do that and do new. I believe that's what this will be. Do new house. Let's call it house one. Yeah, and then we'll do this again. New house two and let's start by making three of them new house three and actually I think I was supposed to do inside change that to the inside tile sets so let's change this let's try to edit it yes now all we have to do is edit edit it inside okay and then same with house one. Okay, so now I think we could draw our interior and create our own from scratch using our creative skills and the tile set that's already here, right? I believe we would just this is inside, so we would just left click and then left click again, and we can draw blah 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 like that. And then we could draw. How do we draw a wall? Does that look like a wall? Whoops, I messed up. Or maybe we can right click and load. Let's go down and see if there aren't... Ooh, ruins. Look at this! A house, and it's an interior. What's house two? How, let's, let's do house one. Da -da -da, it drew it for us. Oh, wait. Why did it do that? See, it's nested wrong. I don't think we want that. Let's delete this. Let's see what we, what happens if we go back up to ZF Town, right click, load, and then choose House 1 and hit OK. Okay, that's what we want. So let's delete this. 
Can now can we click and move them? I don't. I want it. Ooh, how do I not nest it? It's getting nested no matter what. So I don't know how to how to unnest it. I'm gonna quickly delete them. They, it would probably be wise for me to learn how to not nest them. Get that. Okay. So we're gonna right click, load, house one. Bam. Load. House 2. Sure, why not? Um, actually, here's a weapon shop. Let's do a weapon shop. And let's keep it at those two right now. Okay, now we can click on Normal Town to go back to the map. Now I believe we want some tools here. That's an event. That's the map. We, I believe we need to make sure the map's selected. We're on a drawing tool. Let's click on event, because we're wanting to create events. Now let's start with this up here and right click on this orange house in the top left of the map. But right click on the square, you can see it started, made a grid. We're going to right click on the doorway because this is where our event will be. We right click and we can go to quick event creation and we're going to make a door. And now location we hit now to choose the location just as if we were picking a file. We want to go up and left click on this space which is highlighted already for us but just to make sure now we can click OK so it's already done for us I think it w that was a redundant step now I think oh yeah we can double click double left click the door to get a list of the different like images we could choose from but so we have, those look all the same. How are those supposed to be different? I'm not seeing how they're different, but let's click on that one and just hit OK. Mm, now let me double check, let me double think this. I believe actually This is, yeah, they're being really nice here. This is actually the location where the character will go. So we want to change it. They're going to go to inside house one. So we, on, in our left hand list, we have to choose this and then we have to choose the square. Now, this very bottom square, I think we want a door. We don't have to have a door there, I don't think, but I'm going to have one. So I'm going to left click right here. This is where he'll pop into existence, or she, he or she. So we hit OK. Now, that's the door we want, and we can hit OK. And the door appeared. Woo! So now, though, we have, basically, that's it. So when the care we're done. But let's go to house one and do the opposite. We're going to house one. We're gonna, now the door will be down here. So right click down here, quick event, door. It's gonna be that door again. And where are they gonna appear? Right outside, right here. And then hit OK. Blammo, and oh, OK again. Blammo, there we go. That's, that's it. We're done with that. Now you can see where a lot of um, a lot of just 
rote work needs done. We have to, whoops, we have to do this. The, all we all we're doing is basically creating the interiors right now. So now let's do our weapon shop. Let's do that. We're going to right click, quick event, door. Let's see, let's double click and choose something else. Let's choose a different kind of door. Let's choose that one. I don't know why, just to do it. But we need to change where it's going to. This, we're going to click on that and we're going to appear right here. Da da da. Okay, okay, and bam. That's kind of a weird looking door. But, whatever. Now we want to go to the weapon shop. Choose it. And do the op, and we're going to do the same. We're going to right click. No, oh, no, we want to right click down here. Quick event. Door. Where will they appear? But in the normal town outside right here. And then OK. And dun 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 dun. So that's done. We, whoops. So. We've, we've done it. Dun dun dun. OK. So that's done. Uh. What next? We want... We will be wanting to make our character. So we're going to... So next, we're going to make our character. But that's going to be in another video. These are going to be very short videos. I Maybe someday I'll splice together. But there's a lot of granular dryness to these videos. I, I'll try to make them more exciting. But we're talking about video game development. Okay? So, that's a really great start for getting... Basically, this is the same steps you'd go through on, on RPG Maker VX Ace. So I'm not really showing you anything different. So if you know or have toyed around with VX Ace, this is pretty much exactly the same. But at least so far. But we're we're getting... This is a tutorial for people who have either never seen RPG Maker before or are fiddling with it for the very first time. Like me. Uh, technically, I mean, I read, I played RPG Maker games. I've read tons of stuff on RPG Maker. Like I said, random fragments of basic knowledge to super advanced knowledge. I've seen tons of videos. All that jazz. But we're going to try to just go along We'll create a character next, then we'll work on how do we make a character that can actually move around. And that's where you'll probably see the first indications of how RPG Maker MV is different. I believe RPG Maker MV, which I'm just going to start shortening to MV, is... I believe it lets you keep the editor open and start the game. If I remember right, all the previous makers, you had to, like, constantly keep, like, saving and then closing out the game, then op then playing it to test it. But I believe on this one, I, be I believe there's a way right up here, maybe, to actually play it while just, you know, staying here. You don't want it. So that's another thing that MV does. It tried to be more developer-friendly. I believe other things I'll get into later, but you can scale games now with better resolution. I think some people are really upset over seeing that it wasn't didn't provide much native resolution bigger than VX Ace, which is very small. But actually, what it does is it allows the flexibility to create larger and larger tile sets. So I don't understand it from a from a from an AV nerd aspect. Maybe that's a too much of a negative term or name. But, you know, somebody who's really into audio, video, TVs, and resolutions and stuff like that, the gist is it allows you to create... You could create an RPG Maker game in 4K resolution if you wanted to with MV here. 
But we'll talk more about that later. We we create our first little game, so thanks for watching. Again, you can check it out later on zero-friction.net. You can find me on Twitter. I'm Stratix Gaming, S-T-R-A-T-X Gaming. YouTube's the same, Stratix Gaming. I also have a Patreon, patreon.com. And if anybody doesn't know, it'll be in the link. Yeah, the link will be down there in the description and stuff, but it's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash stratx. That's it. S-T-R-A-T-X for my Patreon. So you can see all my other stuff there. I even have some Patreon only stuff and a lot of other stuff. I try to, I have a lot of different stuff I do around the internet and I try to bring it all home and put it on my Patreon. So that's about it. I I don't see how I could possibly force this video to be any longer and drag it out even more than I already have. So we'll see we'll see in episode 2 where we'll actually create a character and continue on with more fun stuff.